Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another... Un, I'll give you two G's right now. <laughs> G G noob. Um, <laughs> welcome to part two of our Throne of Eldraine <clears throat> set review. I'm your host, Robert, and I'm here with other Robert, two Roberts. And uh, we're starting with Barjan. One mana, target attacking creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. We're going to do the red, the green, the gold, and the artifacts. So about 125 cards-ish. We'll get through it. Mm -hmm. And... Uh, each attacking non-human creature gains trample until end of turn. Did you even read the first part? Yeah, target creature gets plus two, plus two until end of turn. Oh. So maybe it's okay, right? I think three, two is better. Plus three, plus three, or plus three, plus two. Trample's relevant, right? I don't know, man. Skip it. Blood Haze Wolverine. Look at this crazy bitch. Two, one for two. Oh, damn. Look <laughs> at his eyes. <laughs> it's not. It's, dude, you, you don't just, mess with just that thing. clear. Whenever you draw your second <laughs> card each turn, Blood Haze Wolverine gets plus one, plus one, and gains first strike. Sure. It's no play to GOP, that's for sure. Blow your house down. Three, I'm sorry? Blow your house down. <laughs> three mana. Up to three target creatures can't block this turn. Destroy any of them that are walls. <gasps> that's me. just like a limited card that they always print, something like that. Except a lot of flavor. It's got a lot of flavor. <clears throat> Uh, Bone Crusher Giant. It's a 4 3 for 3 mana. It's a good deal. Whenever it becomes the target of a spell, Bone Crusher Giant deals 2 damage to that spell's controller. So you're not going to want to pump it, but if your opponents try to kill it, they are taking 2. This card's really good. Uh, you can also play Stomp for 2 mana, and it deals 2 damage to any target, and it can't be prevented, which is really good. So this is both a Shock and a 4 3 for 3. Both halves of this are very, very good. Yeah, this card's standard playable. It's going into the list. <laughs> Bone Crusher seems ready. You're right. Look what I'm doing. Look at all these cards. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Brimstone Trebuchet. Three mana for a 1-3. Defender, Reach. Deals one damage to each opponent. Whenever a knight enters the battlefield, you can untap it. This is a very typical card where it's like, if a red, if you do a thing, untap it and deal more and damage. And I still do something mediocre. Yes, no damage can be prevented, not just the stomp. Yes, I did, I did grasp that. I just didn't mention it. Because you guys can also read the cards on here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I still don't understand how the split cards work. You can cast the adventure half and exile it. If you do, you may cast the creature half whenever you are able to cast the creature. Whenever you want, as long as it's exiled. If you cast the creature, you do not get to cast the adventure half. Correct. Burning Yard Trader. Trainer. Five mana for a 3-3 three, three, Trample Haste. When it enters the battlefield, another knight gets plus two, plus two, and gains Trample and Haste. That's a turn. limited knight. That is. That's not a kiki jiki. <laughs> Claim the Firstborn. One mana. Gain control of a creature with a converted mana cost three or less until end of turn. Untap it, it gains haste. It's just that's a threaten for one. That's cool. It's cool ability <clears throat> for one mana. That's something we haven't seen. Is Bone Crusher viable for burn and mono red? Uh, I think so. Because if they ever try to kill it, they're taking two, so it's just another burn spell. Is the instant, is it an instant? The, yes. the front half? Hmm. Hmm. What? It's also a built in way to deal with Core Firewalker. How? Uh, because they block your goblin guide, and then you cast this against them, and then damage can't be prevented, so the protection doesn't work. Are you, are you still there? Okay, repeat. Say that again. You target their face with this when they block your creature with core firewalker. Okay. Sure, and that then, works. Yes. Okay. Yeah, I was thinking the opposite <laughs> way. If you try to block, I'm like, you can't do that. Crystal slipper, two mana. Equipped creature gets plus one, plus zero, oh, and has haste. Equip one. Okay, cool. Embercleave, six mana with flash. Costs one less for each attacking creature you control. So I'll attack with three guys. This will cost three. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, attach it to a creature you control. Equip creature is plus one, plus one, double strike, and trample. This is pretty good. I think the slipper this is, is real good. Than it looks. I don't. I mean, it's it, the equip one is good. But, you, but in a deck that you want haste, you don't want to take turn two off to cast this. I think that's true. If there was a way to cheat this into play, sure. This card's good because you can get it with the, with the knight. Must be knights. <clears throat> I don't get it. Okay. Embereth, Embereth Paladin. Four mana for a 4-1 with haste. Look, this guy has haste already. I don't even have to give it to him. If at <laughs> least three red mana was spent, it, it gets a counter. Yeah, we know that. We know the drill adamant. Embereth Shieldbreaker. 2-1 for two. Courage is the only shield I need. Well, probably not. You'll be dead. This card's fantastic. I like this card. I was like, oh, wait, this is the good one. I mean, it's a sideboard card, but the card's good. 
Yeah, I guess that's true. <clears throat> I mean, the fact is, it's just literally, um, what's the, what's the one mana destroy an artifact card? The one red. Good talk. I'm trying to think. It's not shatter. It's the one mana one. Shattering what spree. No, it's not that. Is this just a one mana? Isn't there a one mana? Shattering spree is one mana with replicate yeah, one. Yeah, but I'm not talking about the replicate one. I'm talking about a one mana card. You didn't specify that. In, in, ingot sure. That's, okay, we're done. We're done. Anyway, the point is this destroys an artifact for one mana. Ingot Chewer does. That's I'm not ta- smelt. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about a literal one card that doesn't have other features on it. Its only text is destroy an artifact. You see, when you took the time to explain fully what you wanted, I understood it. Buddy, I didn't think anything would help you understand it. Look, smelt. One mana, destroy an artifact. I can't see this that. This is a far. sorcery, but it's also a two one. It's really good. Ferocity of... The, I think the only problem with this card is you're going to compare it to Smash to Smithereens, right? Is the three damage at instant speed worth more than having a 2-1 whenever you want it? And that's the question. Yes. But in standard, it's still a great way to get rid of an artifact. Ferocity of the Wilds. Three mana attacking non-human creatures you control get plus one, plus O, and have trample. It's like, um... We've had that before. It's not exciting. Mm-mm. Fervent Champion. The Javier Dominguez invitation card. I love that they are making these again. Yeah. Uh, 1 1 for 1. First strike in haste. Look, this one's got haste too. Whenever it attacks another target attacking knight, you control gets plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn. Equipped abilities. Equipped abilities, you activate the target from a champion, costs 3 less to activate. Yeah, this card's just good. It's good, yeah. It's just good. I'll write it down. Yeah. Yeah. Brr. F- Fires of Invention. Four mana. You can cast spells only during your turn, and you can cast no more than two spells each turn. You may cast spells with current mana cost less than or equal to the amount of lands you control without paying their mana cost. This card seems really interesting. <laughs> this is really good. It's not a combo card, but this is just pure value, right? And and you can literally do it the turn it comes out, too. So you can literally turn four, play three cards. Am I? Oh, no, you'd play one more you card. You can only play two spells a turn. Yeah, so you cast this, and then you cast one free spell. Another problem is that you can only cast spells during your turn, and this doesn't draw you more cards. It's just a mana. It's just mana savings. Right? Well, I mean, think like Aether Vial, but for decks that play a lot of three and four drops. Or five drops. Hmm. Hmm. I like this card. Is it good? I don't know, but I like it. It's interesting. I'm going to leave it on there. Fling? What fling does that is, do? I feel like Fling is always good. Like, just a sack of creature, deal of damage equal to its power. I mean, it always depends on the format. Like, I mean, this could be nice when you're sacrificing, like, 7-7 seven, seven Giants, but... You know, Iron Crag Feet. This card's so interesting. It's a seething song for four mana, three red, and you add seven mana. And you can only cast one more spell, so it's just like, well, do something with your seven mana. But like, you're netting three. So even unlike Dark Dark Ritual nets you two, Seething Song nets you two. This nets you three extra mana. Does Haphazard Bombardment leave? Oh, who knows? I think that's Dominaria. Yeah. Okay. This is a Star this is, Yeah, Dracuseth is what I was thinking. <laughs> oh. Just turn four Dracuseth. Turn three even. Just hard cast it. Well, how are you getting to three? If you have a mana dork. I mean, it's weird because you have this is triple red, so your mana dork would have to be. Golden Goose? Sure, but then you have to have three three lands that produce red. Or two lands, I guess, in the Golden Goose, not having used it. It's fine. It's still good. I'm just saying. Card is good. I mean, like, this is netting. Like, this is cool a cool card. This card feels strong. I don't think it'll see play. Oh, wow, really? Nope. I This is a card that I wouldn't think would see play, and then it just ends up being absolutely broken. It's a card that makes you go, okay, I need this card Cars and another card. Go, uh, uh. Yeah, you know what else is a card like that? Dark Ritual. Seething Song. Stupid. I've never heard of those. Iron Crag Pyromancer. Three mana for an 4 Whenever you draw your second card, each turn deals three damage to any target. I don't know how I feel about this. Three damage to any target is good. Yeah, yeah that's true, actually. Draw a card, Bolt. It's pretty good. It's not bad. There have been decks where, um, like you jump, you play radical, radical ideas, shoot something. Next turn, radical yeah. ideas, shoot something. Like it's pretty good. Yeah, this, this feels good. Yep, this is pretty good. Apparently, all the Iron Crags are good. <clears throat> that whole Iron Crag clan is pretty good. Joust for two, creature you control and target creature you don't control. Uh, the creature you control gets plus one, plus two, plus one until the end of turn. If it's a knight, then choose. Then those creatures fight. So it's basically a fight card. If it's a knight, you're getting plus two, plus one. That's fine. It's not exciting. Not in red. Mad Ratter. <laughs> it's gotta love it. 
Four mana for a 1-2. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create two 1-1 one, one rats. That's decent. It's pretty decent rate. Uh, it's four mana. It's, it's four a lot, mana. though. Yeah, and it's like a 1-2, so I'm just like, this guy's dead. Yeah. I'd kill that dude on sight. Merchant of the Veil. Three mana for a 2. Holy crap. Six three months for Waldo. Dude. Yeah, Waldo's, Waldo's been sub for a long time. Sorry. <clears throat> uh, Merchant of the Veil. Three mana for a 2-3. You, <clears throat> you may discard a card if you do draw a card for a haggle. So one mana to haggle, you discard a card, draw a card. Uh, and then he just has a rummage. He's just a rummager. I think this card's fine, but like... Eh, limited. Ogre Arant. Four mana for a 3-4. When it attacks another target, attacking knight gains menace until the end of turn. Do you really call it Arant? Arant? Yeah. What do you do you, you said Arant? Arant. Whenever Ogre Arant? Arant. Oh, that just feels weird, but whatever. <clears throat> I did just notice that wall of deal. That's crazy. That was, that was three hours ago. Yeah. Opportunistic Dragon. Four mana for a 4-3 flyer. When it enters the battlefield, choose a human or an artifact an opponent controls for as long as Opportunistic Dragon remains on the battlefield. Gain control of that permanent. It loses all abilities and it can't attack a block. I don't... I've heard... I don't think this card's that good. I don't think it's that great. It's very... It's got the Fragile 3 toughness. It's very specific with a human or an artifact. And they get it right back. <clears throat> right. And you can't do anything with it. So it might as well mm -hmm. just like exile like a Banishing Light or something. Yeah. Uh, Raging Red Cap. Three mana for a one two with a double strike. That's that's cute. Red Cap Melee. One mana. It deals four damage to target creature or planeswalker. If a non red permanent is dealt damage this way, you sacrifice a land. Oh jeez. This is just a black card, right? Like they're giving you good cards like Thought Seize or Flame Slash. But then like they're also they're they're also nerfing them if they're not on color. Filk Money, thanks so much for the reset, buddy. Really appreciate it. Welcome back. It's also funny because this head it looks like it's photoshopped on, doesn't it? It does. It looks like someone <laughs> pasted this on top of a magic card. Yeah, that really does look photoshopped. Dragon is still a four three flyer for four. I don't think that's a great rate these days, mm -hmm. though. Like it just doesn't do anything for yeah. me. Yeah. Have you seen uh, the four drop four four that attacks kills everything the turn it comes out? That's better than a four three. Four, what is four. that? The green guy. Oh, that, yeah, we'll get that. <laughs> Red cap raiders three mana for a three two. When it attacks, you may tap. <clears throat> An untapped non-human creature you control. If you do, it gains plus one, plus one trample. Like this. Oh, I like that. When it attacks, you may... Oh, you may... Oh, creature you control. Yeah, you're not tapping one of those. I was guys. thinking it was Goblin Heel Cutter. I'm like, oh, that's good. Oh, no, you're, you're guys. Mm. You're, 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 cutting your own, you're cutting your own attackers down. I like it. <clears throat> Filk Money, what's going on, dude? Rimrock Knight. Two mana for a 3-1. It can't block. Uh, the instant half is target creature gets plus two plus O oh, till end of turn. Cool. You see how I just Robert of the Rich, human archer rogue. Uh, it's a two two, reach and haste. Okay, two two for two with reach and haste. I'm trying to process it. Another creature with haste. See, we don't even need anything haste. It's a knight. I guess it is a knight. Whenever Robert of the Rich attacks, if defending player has more cards in his hand than you do, so they have five, I have four. I get to exile the top card of their library. During any turn you attacked with a rogue, you may cast that card and you may spend mana as though you're... This card's awesome. Or mana or any color to cast it. This card's great. Is it? Yeah. It's a 2-2. Two, two, it's a 2-2 it's a two, two with haste, so that's great. You exile a card. So if you're on the play, playing red, you essentially get to 2 mana, deal 2 damage, take a card from their library. Next turn, you can cast that card. Or you can cast the other one that you exiled that turn. This card seems really good. I like this card a lot. I mean, it feels very much like Thief of Sanity, only like, A, you have to attack with it in order to cast the cards, and B, like, they could kind of kill it, right? Relax and Sam. So here's what happens. The, on turn two, um, let's say I have I play a land, play this card, I have five cards in hand. My opponent has six cards in hand, one land that's tapped. Yeah, cast means no lands. Yep. Oh, yeah. So I attack with this. They have more cards in hand. So... You exile the top card of the library, and during my turn, I can cast the card that I exiled, or I deal them two damage, go to the next turn, do the same thing. There's two cards exiled now with Robber the Rich. Since I'm attacking again, that gives me two cards. So it's not like Abbot of Carol Keep, where you exile a card and you have to cast it right away. They right, stay there, you have which to, is You cool. have to cast it on a turn you've attacked with a rogue. Correct. And so also, you if can, this guy dies, you can't no longer cast them, unlike Thief of Sanity. On that turn, you can, though. So, like, you can kamikaze it in order to cast a spell. 
because the a rogue attacked. So sure. even if it dies, it's like Teferi, the Teferi plus ability for casting a sorcery. If you, they deal with the Teferi, it still lasts. The reach is really interesting, right? Well, because he's a... He's Robin Hood. Okay. <laughs> he's got bow and arrow. Huh. Is this a deck where you force... No, you're never going to force Mulligan down to four. <laughs> Scorching Dragonfire, two mana, <clears throat> deals three damage to target creature or planeswalker. If that creature dies, exile it instead. That seems fine. It could be relevant. Depends on this the, on on the I mean, format. I I feel like I'm always gonna pick Lightning Strike over this, but except for Lightning Strike doesn't exist. But okay, Lightning Strike doesn't exist. No, it's gone. Strike is gone, dude. Have you not played any 2020 standard? No, I don't care about <sighs> that. Dude, you should. It's fun. It's different. Isn't 2020 standard still Lightning Strike? It's yeah. It's not in it. No. What are you talking about? Someone just lightning striked me the other day with the friggin' goblin deck. You weren't playing 2020 standard, dude. Oh my god, that's not, that's not it. This one. Bye bye It's still legal right now. What are you talking about 2020 standard? Because there's an event right now that's been going on called 2020 standard. Oh, no, I have no idea what that is. Oh. 2020 standard, it's still in you here. You think you're 2020? Well, I'm 20 standard, is that what you're saying? Yes. No, it's called 20... 2020 standard or is it called m20 standard now that i think about it if it's called m20 standard it doesn't make sense because m20 standard has this legal in it uh throne of eldrain standard would not have this legal in it so either, either way basically what it is is that it's get rid of all the all the sets that are cycling out it's standard without it's those m20 sets 2020 standard that makes total sense. m2020 that's it yeah it makes total sense you should be playing you know what i'm playing right now that's a lot of fun i'm serious you would love it i'm playing i Went from to one of your articles, and I've been playing Niv Mizzet. I've been playing five color Niv Mizzet. It's just so much fun. I'm dead serious. It's so much fun. I've had a lot of fun. Searing. I mean, this is, is this good on the list? Yeah, definitely. That's a cyborg card. If if Arclight Phoenix is, Why is a real it a deal, cyborg card. Why wouldn't this be just main deck card? I mean, it could be. I, I don't know. I mean, it's just your typical three damage for two mana, but hitting a planeswalker. The Simic list that Josh VS sent was from M2020 standard. That's interesting. Searing Barrage. Five damage deals five five mana for five damage target creature. Um, if you if you spend three red mana, it also deals five damage, three damage to that creature's controller. This is just a five mana searing blaze, right? It sucks. It's not good. It's it too sucks. Much. Seven dwarves, mm -hmm. two twos for two. They get plus one plus one for each other creature named seven dwarves you control, and deck can have up to seven of them. Cool. That's, that's cute. Skull knocker ogre, four mana the for a four that? three. It's a skull knocker. Oh okay. Skull knocker, skull knocker, knocking at your door. Never heard of it. It's because I just made it up. Oh, that's why. Whenever Skullknocker Ogre deals damage to an opponent, that player discards a card at random. If the player does, they draw. I wish this had haste. Done. Why? That would be sweet. It'd be okay. I mean, okay. How cool would this be? Ready? Same card. Two and a red. Four, three haste. Why? Would you play that? No. Four, three haste for three. You and said you... four. You said two and a. You... Two and a red. So it costs three. So now it costs one less and it has haste, so it basically costs two less? No, it costs one less. Giving a creature haste essentially lowers the casting cost by one because you're oh, not attacking yes, with the yes. next turn. Okay, if you're explaining it that way, sure. And then you're taking off a casting... So you're attacking with it on turn three instead of turn five. Yeah. That's a significantly different card. I know. Um, but I'm saying... Because it's cool because they're discarding yeah. at random. Also, if it costs one mana and it was a 6-6 six, six and it had haste, that would be. I'd play that too. That's cool too, man. That's a serious question. Okay. <laughs> yes, any four three with haste for three, I'm probably gonna play. All right, two three with haste. No, for that three. sounds no. That's not a good rate. Three one with haste. No, that's still bad. One that's... six, one six, <laughs> and it's green. <laughs> it's green. It's red green. <laughs> no, god damn it, Zach the Ripper. Uh -uh. Yes, we did. Slaying fire. <laughs> Slaying fire deals three damage to any target for three mana. If at least if it's, if you spend all red mana for this, it deals four damage instead. That's junk. Is it though? It's junk. It's a flame javelin if you in the mono red deck. Oh, it's junk. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're a real you're a real scumbag. I like this card a lot. Sundering Stroke seven mana. <laughs> Are you okay? Why? Uh, you like this card a lot. I do, man. I know you do. It deals seven mana, seven damage divide as you choose among one, two, or three targets. If at least seven mana, seven. So <clears throat> it's in the mono red deck, right? You're you're spending. You're spending... There's no Teferi. There's no big Teferi anymore. There's no like. There's no Nexus of Fate. Like you have time. Like, so in the mono red deck, you're playing like a big mono red deck, right? And big red. 
yeah, if at least seven mana, like you spend seven mana, it deals seven damage to each of those permanents and or players. So like, this just wipes the board. You choose all of their creatures and you choose their face. Okay. I, For seven. Yes. All right. I don't, we I don't, already had that in standard. What? What was it? The one that did 20 damage to every creature and every every planeswalker and destroyed a land for seven. It doesn't hit the player, though. This is a win condition. All right. Fair. Plus, it costs... I mean, like... It costs us this... Yeah. <laughs> and, like, that's my point, though. Star of Extinction did see play. Like, so, I... You know. Anyway. I'm not going to put it on the list. I'm just saying I like it. I think it's. I think it's got potential. I support the fact that you have likes and dislikes. Thank you. Thank you. That's very... Friendly of you. Sir mm-hmm. <clears throat> Kara the Bold. Five mana for a 3 3. Sir Kara the Bold. Uh, whenever Sir Kara the Bold or an instant or sorcery spell you control deals damage to a player, exile the top card of your library. You may play that spell this turn. That card this turn. You may play that card this turn, so it does count for lands. <clears throat> so you can actually shoot somebody, exile the top card. This card seems interesting. Five mana is a lot, though. Should have haste. It should. God, it's a 3 3 for five. And it pings. Like, you should be able to cast this, ping, and then maybe play a land. This card sucks. The two red four damage should be on the list. Do you guys think so? I thought so, but then Rob just wouldn't shut up about it. Two red four damage. Two and a red for four damage. Oh, two and a red. Yeah, no, that's junk. Three Why mana? Why do you think that? Because it's three mana. It's too expensive. I don't know. What do you think of this card? This card's not constructed play already. No, it's too big. Thrill of possibility. For four damage to any target? Yeah, I think that's that's Flame Javelin. Like, Flame Javelin dealt four damage to any target for three red. Find a deck list that plays it. Flame Javelin? Javelin? You javel? Every day I'm javelin. Every day I'm javelin. <laughs> Thrill of possibility. I should call it, this card's great. This card's awesome, man. Arclight Phoenix is back on the menu. I hope not. For once, I agree with Rob. <clears throat> ranking every single red card based on all in aggro since 1994. Wow, do you think... Who, who's this Who's this emoji? I don't know who that is. It's Kakona. Oh, you're right. Torbran, Thane of the Red Wait, Fell. did we read the last card? Yes. As initial cost to cast... You didn't read card. it. Oh, you I didn't just read said it. it. Yeah. <laughs> Draw two cards. It's literally just Tormenting Voice at instant speed. And... Awesome! It's just too good. Torbrand, Thane of the Redfell, four mana for a two four, three red. So we're talking. Look, we're looking at a, we're looking at a legendary creature. We're looking at our throne of our, our Theros throwback. If a red source you control will deal damage to an opponent or a permanent an opponent controls, it deals that much plus two. Seems good. Seems all right. Now it deals six. Now the three mana spell deals six, dummy. That's a lot of fat four butts. I don't look forward to losing to this guy. What do you think? Of, what do you, this guy on the list? There has he would only he would only be playable in a in a big red deck. Oh like really? Deck. How many big red decks do you think we're gonna have now? There's Maybe so many one. cards that work for it. Maybe one. I hate you. Maybe one. If you play this into next turn the the ritual card into Sundering, you can deal nine damage to someone's mouth. I'm getting sweaty you in here, buddy. Three. You could do three all around it, three times. If a red source you control, do you control the emblems or do your opponents control them? I think your opponents. Your control. opponent controls the emblem. It's sad. You are not playing... Look, come on. You are not playing this card with Cavalcade of Calamity. That's not going to happen. What if you do? How, why wouldn't you? It's plus three. Because it doesn't three activate every creature it. it attacks. No. No. That's not going to happen. Why? It's not going to happen. Why? Because it, it it's not synergistic. A four drop that doesn't act... If it was a one four, I would agree with you. I would say now they made that for that deck. It, it's not going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to disagree with you. Write down what Doth Life is. Put that name down. Emblems are colors, right? Put that put that name down. I want to revisit our chat later. Do you... Do you... I do. Hmm. <laughs> I do. <know. laughs> Fair. Hmm. Touche. Rob, I'm playing this in Cavalcade. Weaselback, red cap. One red for a 1-1. One, one. It gets plus 2, plus 0 oh until end of turn. Goblin Banner is just better. That's cool, man. Cool story, bro. I'm just going to pass them. I'm going to go. Okay. Oh, we hit the green, boys. Do we want to put this on the list or no? Yeah. All right. Fuck. 
Okay, now we're at the Green Boys. I didn't say it wasn't playable. Yeah, you did. You said it was shit. And <laughs> I said it was you're shit. You're just being really aggressive. Uh, three mana search for sorcery. Search your library for a basic land card. Put it onto the battlefield. Then shuffle your library. Uh, that seems good. And then you get six for seven mana. You get a dude that's probably probably going to be a 7-7, seven, seven, I would imagine. It's not playable. Mm -mm. Curious pair. Look at these two. Look at these two scamps. Pass it. Uh, create a food token for one green, and then you get a 1-3 for two. That's super... Yeah. Edge wall innkeeper for a green, you get a 1-1. One, one. Whenever you cast a creature spell that has an adventure, draw a card. I kind of like this. I mean, it depends. We have to look at a list of all the adventure cards and see if it's worth Like, if it. there's an adventure deck, I think this could definitely... 100%. Be in. It's in there. <laughs> I think this card is shit. Swole Mike. Maybe. <laughs> I feel it looks like Kevin from the office. I just... Uh, and then everyone gets everyone gets to know each other in the pot. It's my Kevin West. Feasting Troll King, six mana for a seven six. That's a that's a bargain. Vigilance and Trample. That's a bargain. When it enters the battlefield, if you cast it from your hand, create three foods. That's a bargain. Sacrifice three foods. Return it from your graveyard to the battlefield. Activate this only during your turn. This card's sweet. This card's very good. I like this card. God, look at look at a uh, Force of Will now. What? Force of will. Not force of nature. Look mm. at force of nature now. Oh, we're under the green now. I'm putting I'm putting. Yeah, feasting. that's a lot of devotion right there. You're not kidding about it. Oh look, that. another yeah, another card that uh Four to harkens your back to our to our Theros predictions. I guess it's not a prediction, we know it's coming, but still. <clears throat> Fell the Ooh, pheasant. it does look it does uh work well with the land that makes six. The forest. The forest. Yeah, you just play it on turn four turn five. Mm-hmm. Probably turn four. <laughs> Fell the pheasant. Two mana. It deals five damage to a creature with flying. Create a food token. This this seems... Do you not like this? It's whatever. It's, it could be a sideboard card, right? Isn't it just strictly better than plummet? No, no it's not. No, it's plummet. not. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I finally, I made a mistake, I, finally get okay? to say, I finally get to say that to you when you say the word strictly better. I know. I, 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 I fired off too loosely there. Aha! Fierce Witch Stalker. Story Two of my green, life. green for a 4 4 with trample. Witch Stalker enters battlefield to create a food token. There's going to be better four drops, I think. I don't think so, man. This is probably the best you're getting. I don't think so. I'm going to write it down. <laughs> one, two for one. Uh, whenever Flax and Intruder does combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice it when you do destroy an artifact or enchantment. I like this art a lot. This art's great. Yeah, it's cool. Uh, welcome home for seven mana. Create three, two, two green bear creature tokens. Seven mana is not where you want to be. Is it instant? No, it's not even instant. Garen Brig Carver. Four mana for a three, two. Uh, target creature gets plus two, plus two on the turn. It's a combat trick, sure. Garen Brig Paladin. Five mana for a four, four. Again, five mana for a four, four. Never impressed you. If at least three green mana was spent, it gets a counter. It can't be blocked by... Okay, I should have just stopped reading. A long time ago. <clears throat> Garen Brig Squire. Two mana for a two, two. Whenever you cast a creature spell that has an adventure, it gets plus... Okay. I'm just I'm hurting my, my brain with these limited cards. Giant opportunity. Look at those beans. <laughs> three mana. You may sacrifice two food. If you do, create a seven seven. Otherwise, cool create three food. So either you're getting three food or a seven seven. This kind of reminds me of um, this card type reminds me of like uh, puzzle knots. The puzzle knots. Puzzle knots. Yeah, the puzzle knots. Woodweavers and I don't know. It just seems like that kind of card. Like it 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 either does something or powers up something gilded goose let's shoot this dude right on the list it's funny how bad birds of paradise can be and still be broken you're just like yeah this is, this is amazing i got a free mana oh boy and it can make future free manas oh boy it's very good right i like this card okay i think you're gonna see this in every green deck oh for sure wait go back you're gonna see that in every green deck for sure should i go back Every deck. Oh, man. If it's green. Oh, man. It's got a big butt. Go back. The Great... Yeah, every deck. Big butt. <laughs> okay. The Great Henge. Here's the green <laughs> this artifact so version. so good. Is seven and green green, so nine mana. X is the greatest power among creatures you control. If I have a five four, this costs four mana. Oh, you mean like three drops that are five powered nowadays? 
Well, we don't have Steel Leaf Champion anymore, unfortunately. I imagine there's probably a five power three drop somewhere. Okay, take it easy. Just take it easy. You can add two green and gain two life. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under control, put one encounter on and draw. That's this card's so that's good. Really good. <laughs> this card's so. That's good. really good. God, I don't even care about the mana and the two life. You can just tap it to gain yeah, two life. Yeah, you just gain two life. Yeah. It's the same as there's a modern one, a three a three mana one that gains you a life. It taps for colorless. <clears throat> yeah, get these. This is definitely mythic. Nine is it does not cost nine. It's, yeah, like why? Yeah, nine. That's not nine mana. What are you crazy? Look beyond insatiable the cost. appetite. Two mana. Sacrifice of food. If you do, it gets plus five, plus five. Otherwise, it gets plus three, plus three. Limited for sure. Keeper of fables. Five mana for a four five. Four five. It's better mm. stats for you. Mm. Uh, whether whenever one or more non-human creatures you control deal combat damage, you play a draw card. The thing about this is, it's not every creature. If you have three creatures that are dealing combat damage, you still draw one card. So. Just something to keep in mind. Why are you hitting me? Turn one, you can play the Gilded Goose. Turn two, you can play Registrar Alpha. Turn three, you can play the Henge. How are you playing Registrar Alpha? Uh, I'm sorry, uh, Rotting Registrar. Oh, the seven, God. six for three. Yeah, and then you can play that I was card. Like, Registrar that's, Alpha. That's not so only is good. that five mana, it's not even going to be illegal, buddy. I didn't specify the set. The set. I didn't specify the set. The, uh, what's to say? What's to say? <laughs> what's to say? Someone take an extra. All right, we're just passing that. Kenrith's Transformation. Two mana, enchant creature, uh, draw a card, so it replaces itself. It becomes an elk with base power and toughness 3-3 three, three, and loses all abilities. This will be played in uh, Commander for sure. That's cool, man. It's a cool card. <laughs> if there's a mono green deck, that's a card you want. <laughs> in the sideboard? Yeah. Yeah, all right. Like, that... that It replaces itself and, deal, and makes a 3-3. Three, three. When you're in mono green, 3-3 three, three is not big. You're not that. Why the heck does this cantrip? You're not kidding. Love struck beast. Three mana for a five. I like this card a lot. Three mana for a five five. Oh yeah, I do too. It oh look, a three mana a three mana five five. You were right. <laughs> Dang. Uh can't attack unless you control a one one creature. Oh no, how can we make that? Oh look, for one mana, you can make a one one white human creature token. Cute. That's great. This card is great. <laughs> like, there's just so many easy ways to get one ones into play. That, like, this is not even really a drawback, especially because the card makes one itself. Like, this card's good. Yep. Also, if you go turn one, 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 turn two... Well, I guess it's not It's not total. It's not like Galta where it's giving you negative X uh, for power, right? What's that? The Henge? Yeah. No, it's just... It takes the greatest power and subtracts it. Right, so it's going to cost four still? Yeah, all right, cool. That's, yeah. Mara Leaf Rider. Two mana for a 3-1 sacrifice food. Turf creature blocks this if able. Okay. Okay, Adversary. Four mana for a 2-3. The spell costs two less to cast if your opponent controls a green permanent. Okay, so cool it costs card. two. Death Touch. So in green mirrors, it's it's pretty good. And whenever it deals combat damage to a player, draw a card. That's actually yeah, pretty good. Pretty good in the green mirrors. I can see there's like a two of in the sideboard. Yeah, it's a sideboard card for sure. It's very good though. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> Once and future. Four mana. Return a card from your graveyard to your hand. Put up to one other target card from your graveyard on top of your library. Exile once and future. If at least three green was spent to cast the spell, instead return those card return those cards to your hand and exile. Okay, so um Without three green, you get one, and you put one on top. With three green, you get both. It's an instant, too. So. It's just two regrowths. Here's a question. <clears throat> in cost and in ability. Can you fetch this with the blue tutor? The blueter? Yes. With the land, you mean? No. No. The the one four that lets you search for a non-creature spell. In the sideboard? Does that, It doesn't specify in sideboard, right? It says in exile, doesn't it? Uh, Isn't that the wording now? Or is it outside the game, maybe? I don't know. Let's see. Wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. Uh, it says you may choose a non-creature card you own from outside the game. That would be an exile, right? I don't know. What's the, what's the wording? Is exile in the game still? <clears throat> yeah, so I mean. Exile is still considered, outside, considered part of the game. Okay, so then that won't work. Okay. I was wondering if you could loop it. Remember Seasons Pass? The card Seasons Pass? Yeah, I love Season Fest. Yeah, I did too. I was wondering if you could do that. Is it playable? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, God. This card is so ridiculous. Yes. I'm, like, surprised at how good this card is. Yes. 
Like you can just keep bad hands with this with this card in your deck and just play it on turn one to look for a land. Like mm -hmm. it's just really really good. Mm -hmm. Like this essentially makes your decks. Like if you play, I don't know, twenty lands, you can play sixteen lands instead. And like it's just mm -hmm. so good. Okay, you gotta stop. Sorry, you're being weird. Sorry. Uh, if this is the first spell you've cast this game, you may cast it without paying its mana cost. Uh, look at the top five cards of your library you can find. And, like, even in the late game, it's not just finding lands, it's finding creatures. Like This is sick because you can literally go turn one, find my Gilded Goose. Like, you can have a forest in hand. Because it's still your first play. Yeah, yeah and then you play this, get your Goose. Goose is loose. If you have four mana draw two and green, you'd play it. Yeah, but it's not a four mana draw two because your oh, graveyard yeah. might not have cards in it. Yep. If you don't have Adamant, you're only drawing one. You're putting a card on top. Like, there's a lot more going on with that card than just four mana draw two. Plus, like, you might not need a card in your graveyard. You might just need a random card on your on your deck. You might need land. You might need something, right? So, I don't know. Yeah, this card is ridiculous. Yeah, Harmonize is better than the other card. Out Muscle. Four mana. Oh, put, Jesus. Look at that put art. A bear Suplex. Yeah. <laughs> put a 1-1 one, one counter on target creature you control, then it fights target creature you don't control. If you spend three green, your guy gets indestructible. That's fine. Sure. Questing Beast. Questing Beastesses. Vigilance, Death Touch, Haste. Really Protection. Sorry. Progenitus. Hold on. It's What's gonna, happening? It's going to do a bunch of stuff. Just What's ignore happening? it for a second. Uh, Questing Beast can't be blocked by creatures of power 2 or less. Combat damage that would be dealt to creatures you control can't be prevented. That would be dealt by creatures you control can't be prevented. Whenever Questing Beast deals combat damage to an opponent, it deals that much damage to target Planeswalker that player controls. It, I mean... What do, you want, what do you want me to say? It's just a good card. It does a lot of things. <laughs> it's just ridiculous by itself. Like, I don't know. <laughs> it's so weird, man. Why? It's just weird. <laughs> Why does it not have trample? It's just such a random set of abilities. It should have trample. If we're going to throw all that at it, give it trample. Death touch trample. Can't be blocked. I mean, because it has a different form of evasion. Questing you can't be blocked by creatures power to be less. It has a different form of evasion. So. Does it make the list? It's already on it the list. It literally made the list. Questing Beast can't be blocked by creatures that are two or less. So, like, you're not blocked by small creatures, so it doesn't need trample. You know what I mean? Those 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 abilities are in conflict. Whatever, man. Okay. Um, it's too expensive. Return of the Wild Speaker 5. This is a rare. Draw cards equal to the greatest power among non-human creatures you control. So this is like... A, it's not even a human. So, like, if I have a 5-5 five, five champion of the parish, I can't even draw cards. And, like, this is just Garrick Primal Hunter's negative abilities. three ability right yeah. like not even creatures you control get plus three plus i think the the overrun effect is good at instant speed it could probably win some games but it wouldn't be five mana is a lot dude uh that last card is not modern playable because the abilities on the back end of it aren't as great four mana you, you, you should be winning the game for four mana but you're not always return to nature two mana choose one destroy an artifact destroy an enchantment exile a card from a graveyard this i card, like it still very good mm -hmm. don't really need to say much about it <clears throat> Still better than naturalize. Plus, there's two cute mice on it, so I don't know what more you want. I never saw those because I like the pumpkin. Okay, I mean, it's uh, it's like a Rorschach test. You see what whatever you see, whatever you see determines what you're, how crazy you are. The mind three sees mana for what it chooses to see. It's true. It's very true. It's called Scotoma. Three mana for a two three. You can add one mana of any color, so I'm not on board with that half. Se seasonal ritual, add one mana of any color. Wait, would it be cool if that scryed? Like, add one man of any color and scry one? Yeah, that'd be cool, right? I still don't think it'd be playable. I don't either. Actually, I mean, it might be, because then it's like your site, then it's just like you're playing... It's not. But if it's cycled, it would be. Oh, you're right, you're right, you're right. It's not. Yeah, you'd have Because the back yeah. half of that is literally useless. Yeah, you'd have to draw a card, right. That's true. Rose, Rose Thorn Halberd, one mana. When it enters the battlefield, attached to a target non-human creature control, it gets plus two, plus one. The equip cost is five on this? Okay. One five for three with reach? Okay. Serfaren the Hedgehammer. This is the uncommon green one. Green, green for two, two. Good rate. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but it's still not good. When it attacks, another target attacking creature gets plus X, plus X, where X is its power. So another creature gets plus four, plus two, plus two. It's fine. That's right. I'm not excited by it, but... No. 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 Tall as a beanstalk. Four, four mana. Should have flash. Enchanted creature gets plus three, plus three in reach, and it becomes a giant. I mean, it's just... It's junk. It's definitely not jump. <laughs> what? 
Did you say? Oh, you said junk. Junk. Yeah. I thought you said it's jump, and I'm no. like, no, I don't think so, man. Gotta love that art, though. Trail of Crumbs, one, two. When Trail of Crumbs enters the battlefield, create a food token. Whenever you sacrifice a food, you may pay one. If you do, look at the top two cards of your library. You may reveal a permanent card from among them and put it in your hand for the rest of the bottom of your library. Are there any sources of repeated food creation? We haven't seen one yet, right? I don't think repeated, no. Okay. <sighs> uh, Golden Goose makes one every turn. No, it doesn't. You pay two. It still makes it every... Yeah, yeah. it's still a, an option to make it every turn. Okay. Uh, Oko, yes. Oko is one, yes. Two in Veil Tree Folk. Six mana for a 6-5. Put two counters on a creature. All right. Wicked Wolf. Four mana for a 3-3. Three, three. When it enters the battlefield, it fights up to one creature you don't control. Sacrifice a food. So in response to the trigger, you can sack a food and put a 1-1 counter on it, and it gains indestructible. And you tap it. So it's very funny. They're, they're wording this like regeneration wood. Mm-hmm. Um, it's, it's not a rare though. This doesn't feel as rare. No, I don't like this card. I mean, it does it. Mm -mm. It's not. It has a very ravenous chupacabra feel to it. Wish I had a flash. I can kill two twos, two threes, two ones. Like, and the counter is good. Like making it a four four that fights is really good. This actually could be good. No, nah. I'm gonna put it down. No, nope. I think you're wrong. There's better four drops. You know, ones with vigilance, death touch. Haste. Okay. Wildborn Preserver. <laughs> two mana for a 2 2 with flash and reach. Uh, whenever another non human creature enters the battlefield under your control, you may pay, like, let's say four. When you do, put four 1 1 counters on. Oh, jeez. This card's really good in, in uh, yeah. blue green. It's funny how many tricks that deck got in this set. Trixies. There, there's a lot of non human things in the in the set. Wildwood Tracker. One mana for a 1-1. One, one. It, it, it attacks or blocks. If you control another non-human creature, it gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn. Mm. Okay. It just attacks as a 2-2. Two, two. Attack as a 2-2. Two, two. What <laughs> what rarity is this? Is, uncommon? is that common? Six mana. Create three 1-1 one, one board tokens with when this creature dies, create a food. No one. Three 1-1s one, for six? Come on. <laughs> Yorvo, Lord of Garen Bridge. I thought it said Lord of Gardening. It's probably, it's probably not an accurate. This is my pick. So this is the uh, this is the green triple, triple dude, triple boy, triple dog. Um, when it enters the battlefield with four one one counters on it, very virtuous gear hulky. So it's a four four for three. Whenever another green creature enters the battlefield under your control, put a one one counter on your bow. Then if that creature's power is greater than your bow's, put another one one counter on your bow. That's pretty good. Not a bad three drop. So any creature you play, he gets a one one. And if that creature's bigger, he gets. Two one ones. Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna put that down. That's good. What's okay, my adversary? What was that? Which one was that? I don't know, dude. I'm just here. Good talk. Good talk. Dance of the Mance. Oh, and we're at the multicolored cards now. This card. Is this good? I did that for you. You did it for me. You did it. Yeah, this card is awesome. Uh, X blue white. So let's say three. I'll say three blue white. Return up to three artifact and or non or enchantment cards with converted mana cost X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. <laughs> if X is six or more, they become four fours. Yeah, this card seems good. Yep. I mean, it's eight mana, but like you're building decks around this card. Mm -hmm. Mana rocks. Mana rocks. Like... So how do they get to the graveyard? That's the question. How do they get in there? How are you putting them in the graveyard? Uh, the the artifact lady puts four cards in your graveyard, doesn't she? The artifact lady? Em em Emery? She puts four? Doesn't she when she enters the battlefield? No, you like mill the top four. Yeah. That's not putting four artifacts in your graveyard. No, but I'm saying there are ways. Oh, I see. Doom foretold. Two black, white. At the beginning of each player's upkeep, that player sacrifices a non-land, non-token permanent. If that player can't, they discard a card, they lose two life, you draw a card, you gain two life, you create a 2-2 white knight creature token with vigilance, then you sacrifice Doom Foretold. This card's sweet. I don't know how you break it, but this card's sweet. Because it's non-token. Lose two life, you draw a card, you gain two life. This does a lot. It does, but you have to sack non-token stuff, which is cool. Yeah, I'll write it down. It seems good. Oh, this is awesome with dance. You're right. 
You play artifacts at ETB, draw you cards, do stuff, and then you sacrifice them to Doom Foretold. And then you dance dance them in your pants back. You dance the night away. Here's a card that they were talking about in chat. This card also seems very good. Drown in the Lock. <laughs> Blue and a black. Counter target spell with converted mana cost one costs less than or equal to the number of cards in controller's graveyard. So if your opponent has three great three cards, uh, you can counter target spell with converted mana cost less than or equal to. Uh, same thing with creature. Destroy a creature with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of cards. This card's in really good. I mean, it's a late game card. Like on the first four or five turns, it just doesn't do anything. Really? I mean, maybe. Like I mean, it could right. It's not like unless they pay X mana. Like, you're only countering a two drop. Like, or, you know, like. Is that bad, though? No, it's not terrible, but it's very, very narrow. Fetch, mm. fetch lands in modern make this sure good for your opponent, right? I don't know. Is it, is it good enough to write down? I think so. I yeah. Know. It's going to see play. Escape to the Wilds. Drown in the Lock, Escape to the Wilds. Three red, green. Exile the top five cards of your library. You may play cards exile this way until the end of your next turn. You may play an additional land this turn. My card is sick. This card seems real good. Yeah. This is a Frank card. I don't think it's great, but this is a Frank card. I like it a lot. I know you do. I want to draw five cards and play an extra land this turn. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell well, yeah. Well, because you go from... You go. You play it on turn five. You get your sixth land. Next turn, you have seven mana to play the other cards. You have eight mana. Oh, and no. It, this turn. And it says you can play the cards, so you're not actually... You can play yeah, you lands. play lands off top right. of it. Yep. <sighs> Sorry, guys. That's true. You, you can play two lands off the top five of your cards, too. You even play a land for turn. Yeah, that's that's, that's pretty cool. <clears throat> Faberow Elder, uh, three mana for a zero zero. It gets plus one plus one for each color among permanents you control. So it's very bloom tendery. Uh, for each color among permanents you control, add one mana of that color. So if I control um, a black, a blue, and a red permanent, that would be weird because this is a green white. But you get the point. <laughs> then I would add five apparently because this guy's in play too. So I mean, <laughs> worst case scenario example there. Yeah, best case, right? <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't think it's is it playable though. It's got a pretty broken ability, but I, it's just too much work. Is it though? It taps. It taps for two by itself. It's not good. That we already have cards that do that like in what? standard for the exact same cost. Like what? There's the, two, the it, literally it's a two three. It's a two three for three. The Geyer Geyer Sage is it Geyer Sage? No, Geyer Sage is the level up one. No, that's Geyer Engineer. Gyre Sage has Evolve. And it's uh, evolve, yeah. It, it's Gyre. Engineer? Oh, but that's a 1-1. One, one. No, I thought it was a 2-3. Gyre Engineer is a 1-1. One, one. From Aramunculus, from that set. It's a, I know you're, it's Gyre, yeah. That's a 1-1. One, one. Yeah, they said it. Must be true. It's a 1-1. One, one. I knew that. Chat said it. It's a 1-1. One, one. Okay. Like, oh. this is a 2-2 two, two with Vigilance, and it gets bigger. Like, if you have a third color or fourth color, whatever. It's all right. All right. Maybe. This, I'm going to put this down. What is that? This is Garrick Cursed Huntsman. You don't like this card? This card's awesome. Oh, okay. I was like, no, what? this card's really? awesome, man. This is the definition of like Abzan mid range. This card's so good. I love this card. So we have a six mana for five, <laughs> or five loyalty rather. Create two, two, two black and green wolf tokens with when this creature dies, put a loyalty counter on each Garrick you control. So it's so good. It's a zero, but like if your wolves die, it's, it goes to seven. Negative three, destroy a creature, draw a card. Like, that's fantastic. Uh, negative six, you get an emblem with creatures you control, get plus three, plus three, and have trample. Just, this card's just so in general. Good. This card's so good. It's really easy to ultimate this. I presume. Yeah, this card seems very, very good. And I just want to play it in all my Saltai decks. Interesting you said Saltai. Why? Because I think it's better suited for, like, an Abzan-style deck. Well, I like Saltai, so I said Saltai. That makes sense now. I thought about it. It's more of a me thing than a, I see like the better. Is it better than Ugin? I don't know. It doesn't have to be better than Ugin though. They're just they, they can both be good. I think it's better than Ugin. Wow. You get you you have the ability to get a card right away. You also have the ability to deal with a creature, so you can't kill a planeswalker with it. But you have the ability to. It plus it has a game winning ultimate. Ugin doesn't. Yeah, it does have a game winning ultimate. Grumgully the generous three mana, <laughs> for a three three. Each other non-human creature you control enters battlefield with an additional one to counter. This is just a uh, unicorn, right? Firstborn unicorn from... Uh, Firstborn unicorn. Good fortune unicorn. Good fortune unicorn. I don't know, dude. I just work here. It's the card for freaking Modern Horizons. Whatever, man. You got to know some things, man. Nah, dog. 
I just look at the pictures, man. Good fortune unicorn. Whenever another creature enters battlefield under your control, put a one encounter on that creature. That's a glorious freaking unicorn. Oh my god. Never seen that. Improbable alliance. Woof. One. One <laughs> red and a. I was like, that beard is unreal. <laughs> look at that thing. Move this seat a little bit. All right. Improbable Alliance, blue, red. Whenever you draw your... It's an enchantment. Whenever you draw your second card each turn, create a 1-1 one, one blue fairy creature token. This card seems good. Oh, yeah. This is like a blue... This is, an is, it, it, is it Blossom? Yeah. I don't know what that means. It's an Is It Bitter, bitter Blossom. Dude, people have been hella shitting on it. If you get multiple of these, like, and you draw a second card, you just, like, make two 1-1s, one, one, make two 1-1s. One, and the late game, it still gives you something to do. I think this card is good. Yeah. Yeah, it does go into Locust God. That's true. If only that was still... And Inspiring commander. Veteran. White, red. Other knights, you get plus one, plus one. Yeah. Seems good. Yeah, it's, just, <laughs> it's just like... Seems if decent. If there is any... Uh, if there's any knight deck, this is just... Slide it right in there. I don't know. Lock Mirror Serpent. Six mana for a 7-7 seven, seven with flash. Okay, that's good stats. One blue. Sacrifice an island. It can't be blocked this turn. Okay, that's really obnoxious. One black, sack a swamp, you gain a life and draw a card. That's also good. Black and a blue, exile five target cards from an opponent's graveyard. Return it from your graveyard to your hand. This card's so good. Yeah, this card is... This is this is a really... This is a Pearl Lake Ancient Aetherling yep. type card. Exactly what it that's is. That's extremely hard to deal with. Yep. It's like Chromium or... It's just, you know, we always have those six mana, yeah. seven mana threats. That card's awesome. So good. And the fact it, it, it can draw you cards and gain you life. Like, you don't lose one life and draw a card. Yeah. You gain life. Mm. And exiling five cards from their graveyard is not necessarily No, a that's good. Yeah, you could just be like... <laughs> that's good. See you later. Yeah, this card seems great. Yeah, Holy sick. smokes. Marileaf Pixie also seems great. Two, two for two. It's just literally... Um... What's the other one? The two, two for two? Stop. Stop. Sorry. It's really weird when you do that. Sorry. The two, two, the the two two for two. Yeah, oh, the the merfolk. Yes, skyfolk. What guy is skyfolk? Yes, I read it off chat. Yeah, it's literally guy is skyfolk with uh with an with an added ability. I think this card's good. It's two 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 two. This card's not gonna be played. I don't know if that's true. I guess we'll see. This card will be played. Okay. Oko thief of crowns. Yeah, this card's great. Three mana for a four loyalty planeswalker. It ticks up to six immediately. Uh, you can exchange six. your food token. Did you say six? Yes. Three drop pluses to six. Yes. And get something for that. And then you can exchange your food token for their creature next turn. Seems so good. stupid. And you can also plus one to make them make your one of your guys an elk or one of their guys an elk. It just has a lot of things going on, and it's very strong. This card's so good. The art's also very, very like, good. Like, can you imagine if you're playing mono red and your opponent goes, turn two Oko, even turn three Oko, they go... I'm gonna I'm gonna make a food token. It's at six now. Go ahead, attack it. All right, it goes down to three or four, right? Then you go. Oh, I'm gonna plus it again, and I'm gonna make a blocker. Like that's that's so good. This card's so good. So good. It's so good. So good. How good? So good. It's oh, so good. Outlaws merriment. <laughs> This card sucks. Four mana, one a red and white and white. It's an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, choose one at random. So you're not really choosing, right? Like <laughs> it's not really a choice, is it? Choose one at random. Create, create a... It's just a do one at random, or make one at random. Uh, create a red and white creature token with these characteristics. With those characteristics. 3-1 human warrior with trample and haste. 2-1 human cleric with lifelink and haste. 1-2 human rogue with haste. And when this creature enters the battlefield, it deals one damage to any target. <clears throat> I mean, this is a card that, like... It's a four-mana do-nothing card. It's a really bad Assemble the Legion. It's a four-mana do-nothing. You get nothing. Feel, this doesn't feel mythic. No. This feels like the shitty mythics yeah, that we always get. This seems bad. It's also three colored man in the casting cost. Like, I don't know. None of these creatures are any good. <laughs> I don't want any of these things. <laughs> uh, the Royal Scions. Three mana free, five loyalty planeswalker. Plus one draw a card, then discard a card. So you're looting for one. So you're going to go up to six again with three loyalty. Or three cost. Plus one target creature gets plus two O plus plus two plus O gains first strike and trample. That's a a good good buff negative eight draw four cards when you do the royal scion deals damage to a number of equal to the number of uh cards, cards in, your in your hand to any target it still seems good uh yeah this card's really good it 
it's weird that this is the royal scions like multiple but it says will rowan and not kenrith you know what i mean whoa you're right why is it just one of them when they're both on the art are they the same people mm, that'd be weird because there's two planeswalkers there's will and rowan but is maybe they're and, the same person will, will and kenneth rowan maybe they're like they're not actual two separate people i don't know i've never read the lore oh is it will and rowan yeah, that's right. Kenrith is their last name. Okay. That's right. Rowan, well, why does it say Will Rowan? Why not Will and uh, Rowan? It should like, be Will, comma, or Will and Rowan. Yeah. Will like an ampersand Rowan. Why does and it, it say says Will legendary Rowan? planeswalker? Well, it's always going to do that. Are they attached at the hip? That's weird. I don't like it. I don't like it. Yeah, I don't understand. Like, you don't have to even put and because there might not be room. Like, there's only this much room. You can put an ampersand Will and Rowan. I don't know what the hell that means. An ampersand? Yeah. This is an ampersand. Uh, what about a volta dirt? This one. This is an ampersand. Did you get my joke? Are you looking? Yeah. I don't know where it is. It's right I here. I see your cursor. Oh, is that what that's called? It's called an ampersand. I thought it was an and symbol. Did you get my joke? I said a volt and dirt. A volt and dirt? Yeah, ampersand. Get it? Volt or dirt? <laughs> uh. Ampers and what? <laughs> so you took amp. Changes to volt. And then you took sand. And, and went straight to the dirt. Straight to the dirt. <laughs> straight to the dirt. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Savvy Hunter. Mm. One black, green, three, three. When Savvy Hunter attacks or blocks, create a food token. <laughs> mm. Sacrifice two foods, draw a card. Um, I want to find food, man, and I want to make it work. I want to make food work, man. I'm all about it. I hear you, buddy. I love this card, too. It's a 3-3 three, three for 3, though. Like, is that good enough? It, well, if you have a F ton of food, yeah. What if I don't? What if I only have no. a little bit of food? No. So well, how no. much? So, no, then. The answer is no. Shine Chaser. Moonshine Chaser. One white blue for a 1-1 one, one Flying Vigilance. It gets 1-1 one, one as long as you control an artifact. It gets another 1-1 one, one as long as you control an enchantment. So, I'm going to work my ass off just to get a 3-3 three, three Flying Vigilance. Not bad. Should have haste. But it's not constructed playable, right? I don't think so, no. Steel Claw Lance. Look at this beast. This, I don't like Dread it. Dreadbore mana. Uh, equipped creature gets plus two, plus two. Equipped knight for... Really? You don't like this? No. I think if you equip to a knight for one mana is pretty good. Yeah. What? Huh. Yeah. Um, Stormfist Crusader. This is interesting. Black and a red for a 2-2 with Menace. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player draws a card and loses life. Each player? Yeah, that's weird, right? You don't want that. I don't feel like you want that. I just don't want to give... I don't want to give cards away. No. I got things to do, man. Yeah. I don't want you to have things to do. No. Nah. Nah. No. Nope. Oh, it triggers drawing two cards a turn. Sure. Sha. Yeah. And it deals an extra damage, so technically it deals three. And it's, but, a, it's the beginning of your upkeep, too, so like you will get a shot at the card you draw first. I don't like it. Oh, turns on Spectacle. It's got a lot of interesting... It's a knight. Yeah, it's got a lot of interesting things going it's, on. It has, it, has, it has card art. Wandermare. One green white for a 3-3. Three, three. Whenever you cast a creature spell that has adventure, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it. Nah. Wintermore Commander, 2x for white-black. So, the minimum is 2-1. Death Touch. Its toughness is equal to the number of rights you control, so yeah, 2-1. Whenever it attacks another target knight, you control kin's indestructible. So this seems great. Seems pretty good. I mean, the ideal scenario... With Stormfist Crusader is that you're using you're spending your cards faster than your opponent can spend their cards, right? Like you're playing your one and two and one drops, and they're like drawing four and five and six drops, and they're not even able to utilize the cards you give them. It scares me post board. I'm gonna write it. It scares me. It just has a lot of it has a lot of interesting like it has it has play with a lot of different other mechanics. cool card not playable arcanist's owl so this is another this is these are this whole cycle of cards is also just playing really heavily into the theros theme um so you have all of these you have 10 of these four colored mana cards so you have two blue ones no we have like four blue ones right five blue ones 
It's cycle of ten, right? So there's gonna be five different blue ones. I don't know. There's like five of all of them, right? <laughs> oh god. What? Someone said the background is sweet. Yeah, Katie said that. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, dang Get it. wrecked, nerd. Dang it. You stupid nerd. Dang it. Arcanist Owl. Yeah, he was giving me a hard time about this background. He was I like, think she knew. Let's do a... No, she had no idea. How would she know? She knew. She was like, let's he was like, let's do a kitty cat background. And I was like She's a plant. Wow, that's messed up. You think I would do that? Yeah, I do actually. Four mana for a three three. When it enters the battlefield, look at the top four cards of your library. You may reveal an artifact or enchantment from them, put it in your hand. But the rest of the bottom of your library in any order. It's just fairy mechanist, right? For like a much more prohibitive casting cost. I don't like it. Yeah. I mean, it's an artifact creature too, so you can like find another one. I don't like it. Oh, cool. Paid four for a three three flyer just to do it again next turn. Covetous urge. Four mana again. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose a non-land card from that player's graveyard or hand and exile it. You may cast that card for as long as it remains exiled, and you may spend mana as over mana. I so wish this cost three. Four mana is a lot for one card. It's basically Gonti, but it discards. No, it's not Gonti. What am I thinking? It's not Gonti. And you don't get the you don't get a two three death toucher. Nope. Two three death toucher. Deathless knight. All right, you better you better be deathless. Four two for four. When you gain life for the first time each turn, return it from your graveyard to your hand. Okay, that's actually not bad. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's just, I don't want to pay four mana for a 4-2 over and over. The problem the is... haste is good. Haste is good, but the problem is when this thing dies on the battlefield, uh -huh. more than likely the haste becomes irrelevant because it can't attack into whatever it is that it died from in the first place. But then you kill it, and then you get it back, and then you haste it. It's true. You just didn't think. You're not thinking. That's all. What's a squee? This is not a squee. It's not a squee. This is not squee. I don't think it's good. Elite Headhunter, four mana for a 2-3 with Menace. Sacrifice another creature or an artifact. Elite Hunter Headhunter, Headhunter deals two damage to target player or creature or planeswalker. We'll get it. We'll get it. It sucks. It's not good. These stats it are just sucks. not good. Like, I'm, these, these costs are so prohibitive that, like, I expected something good, you know? The funny thing is, the way that these sets are designed in the lands that we got, like, it's actually not great to try and build two color decks you're actually more incentivized to build three color decks because you right. get both the shocks shocks both of the shocks ah, give me the shocks man four mana for a two three double strike and it gets plus one plus one until end of turn for four mana what? just stop it what? lock dragon four mana this is gonna be broken it's gonna be like draw two cards equal draw cards equal to the number of instants and sorcerers in your graveyard when it enters battlefield or attacks you may discard a card if you do draw a card this is probably the best one yet the card sucks I mean, right, but I'm saying, like... You like this? Being I'm able sorry. To, no, so you get to rummage every turn. Oh, no, I was talking to chat. That card sucks. It's not gonna... You're not, you're not paying four mana for a 3-2. Nope, does I'm nothing. paying four mana for one that draws me a card when it enters the battlefield and has power equal to number of instant sorceries in my graveyard. Okay, Ranger, 2-2 two, two for four. Uh, for four mana, for, for four mana sorcery, you can create two one ones for four. And then you have a 2-2 two, two for four. Creatures you control get plus one, plus one. This is just not good. Oh, God, what's he gonna do? Oh, dang it. Oh, dang it. Rampart Smasher. 5-5 five, five for 4. Can't be blocked by knights or walls. Yeah, none of the, not one of these has been... Resolute... Oh, God. <laughs> Resolute <laughs> Rider. It's a 4-2. Gains life like until end of turn. Uh, for 3 for three mana, Resolute Rider gains Indestructible until end of turn. The Indestructible one is the only one I'm just like... It's a 4-2! I know. Come on. No, you're right. They're like, oh, disfigure it. He's like, indestructible. And you're like, yeah, but no. Thunderous Snapper. This one gets credit for being a turtle hydra, which oh. is amazing. All right. We'll leave it here. Yeah. 4-4 four, four for 4. Whenever you cast a spell with converted mana cost 5 or greater, draw a card. I think this is the best one, to be honest with you. It's got the best art. It's got the best art. It's got the best creature type. Mm -hmm, it's mm -hmm. in a great color combination. That dude's fucked. It has you drawing cards. Little Red Man there is fucked. And, little Red Man? Yeah, he's fucked. And it's a 4-4, four, four, so, you know. He's just wondering which head he's about to go down. That's the best one. Clockwork <laughs> Servant. Three mana for a 2-3. If, clock, if at least three mana of the same color was spent to cast a draw card. No, it's not good, but it's, it's cute. I mean, is it? It's kind of scary if you think about it. It's not cute. In cartoon form, it's cute. Crashing but... Drawbridge. Two mana. Defender 04. Creatures you're going to haste until end of turn. Sweet. So I have to tap my Defender. That is not an Elvish Visionary. The thing about this is, like, I'm not playing Defenders and decks with creatures. That and then haste. tapping it to make my creatures right. haste. I'm like, I either want haste creatures or Defenders. I don't want both here. Enchanted Carriage. Five mana for a 4-4. Four, four. When it enters the battlefield, create 2-1-1 at mouse token. This is great because the mice can crew it. Oh, mm -hmm. God, I love it. 
gorgeous. Just amazing. Ginger Brute. One mana for a 1 1 with haste. It can't be blocked by this turn except by creatures with haste. Two and a tap. Sacrifice it, you gain three life. <laughs> that's like that's in the set as a plant. That's just there to like. Right. Like, it's just the. F- How many times are you going to say things are plants today? Twice. Maybe three. Depends on what's coming up next. Okay, we'll see. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is just. Um, I also. Oh, like, it's food! Right, that was the joke, yes. It's a food golem. <laughs> no, but it's a food. You can sacrifice it. Yes, sacrifice gingerbread. You gain. Oh. No, you can sacrifice. It's a food. Two other food abilities. Does it say food token? Does it say sacrifice of no, food? No, 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 it doesn't. It just says sacrifice, sacrifice of food. food. Yeah. That's true, but still useless. <laughs> That's true. Look, this is a food too. Oh, I love this card. When golden egg enters the battlefield, draw a card. Sacrifice golden card. egg, add one man of any color. Sacrifice golden egg, you gain three life. I love this card. Okay, take it easy. What do you love about this? Because it, it cycles itself. It's a prophetic prism, and it can go to the graveyard to gain you life, and it can come back with other, you know, there's synergies. Oh, so one time use prophetic prism. Okay, so it's the... It's nice because you get the food out of it, though, right? Like... Yeah, it's a food. It's a food! No, it's not a food, because um, I, if I remember correctly the way they explained it, the creature type is not food. It's an artifact type. And the creature type is at the end of it. Henge Walker. Henge? Like Stonehenge? Three no. mana for a two two. If at least three mana spend, it has about a full eight one one. So it's uh, uh, so if I work my ass off, it's a three three. <laughs> Got it. Sounds good. Heraldic banner. Heraldic banner. Uh, three mana for choose a color. So I'll choose white. Your creatures. My white creatures get plus one plus zero oh, and add mana. Choose a color. Mm. It's all right. Inquisitive puppet. Look at this. Is this art creeps me out? This is not okay. <laughs> no. One mana for an O2. When it enters the battlefield, scry one. Eh, exile it. Create a 1-1 one, one white human creature token. Oh, God. I'm just like... Just unsettling. I'm just unsettled by it. You look settled. Oh. Jousting dummy. Two mana dummy. for a... This is a scarecrow knight, keep in mind. <laughs> uh, jousting dummy gets plus one, plus O oh until end of turn. It is a 2-1. I don't care. I've lost all interest in this card. Goodbye. Lockthwain Gargoyle. It is an 0-3 for 1. For 4 mana, you can give it plus 2, plus 0, and gain flying. So it's a 2-3 flyer for 4 mana. It's not terrible in limited. It's no. Definitely a decent decent flying body. Lucky Clover. 2 mana. Mm. Whenever you cast an adventure, instant, or sorcery spell, copy it. This card's sweet. Uh, if yeah. there's enough adventures. But this card is sweet, man. Yeah, the adventures are really like... If there's an adventure deck, this definitely goes in it. Yeah, you put two of those, you get a copy of everything twice. Keep in mind, it's not adventure, comma, instant, comma, or sorcery. It's an adventure instant or adventure sorcery spell. Thanks. So, I mean, a lot of people were like getting that confused. They're like, is this adventure instant or sorcery? Like, all three? And I'm like, no, no. Grammar is important. Yeah, I don't know. It's uncommon, so I think they know what they have, right? They're not going to make this uncommon if it's like only kind of good. Tw- two three flyer for, for four but a five five for four is garbage elaborate please well we're talking about limited like I yeah said this you is literally limited, said limited i'm not saying it's a constructed card I, and plus i don't even remember a two three flyer we said sucks but uh, yeah two three flyer for four Whew. i don't know what five five for four that was garbage was like in constructed i mean yes I, unless you're talking about the like the the, the gruel card like yeah in constructed that's terrible i mean in, in limited if you're in those colors you're gonna play them all the time Prophet of the Peak. Six mana for a 5-5 five, five when it enters the battlefield. Scry 2. Jesus. All right. Roving Keep. Seven mana. We're just getting bigger. 5-7 <laughs> with def- with Defender. It gets plus 2, plus 0 against Trample. It can attack this turn, though, so it did not have Defender. <laughs> so 7-7. Seven, seven. So I don't want to invest seven mana in this every single turn, right? No, you don't. Scalding Cauldron. One mana. Sacrifice it deals three damage to We've target creature. That's like a Silent Dart. Yeah, that's a yeah. It's a very repeated effect where it's like an artifact that costs a, a cost and then costs more than that to, to to sacrifice. Shambling suit for three mana. Its power is equal to the number of artifacts and or enchantments you control. Mm. No. Signpost scarecrow. Add one mana of any color for two. Nope. Yeah, just like nope. Sorcerer's broom. Two mana for a two one. Whenever you sacrifice another permanent, you may pay three. If you do, create a copy of it. This is cute, but it's a lot to ask for for a 2-1. Three mana? If it costs yeah. one, that'd be sweet. Uh, Sorcerer's Spyglass. Sweet. Two mana. Love it. As Oh, this is just a reprint. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm like, yeah, that is perfect. 
Yeah. No, but it's just great. It gives it gives monocolored decks ways to deal with planeswalkers. Outside of the color pie. Well, same with pitting needle, same with you know, all those spinning wheel, three mana, add a man of any color or five tap a creature. Nope. Stone Coil Serpent X. Reach, trample, protection from multicolored. It enters battlefield X1 on counters. That's interesting. So like for five minutes of five five with reach trample and promo. Put it on the list. Yeah? Yep. And may you see play in modern. Really? X X mana spells? Yes. I mean endless ones not seeing seeing a tremendous There are some decks that try and play endless one. Okay, I'll put it on the list for you. Appreciate you. Because we're friends. I know we are sometimes. Weapon rack, four mana. Weapon rack enters the battlefield with three plus one plus one counters on it. Move a 1-1 counter from weapon rack onto a creature. Activate this only anytime you can cast it. Oh, the sorcery disclaimer is really rough. That's a really weird card design if you think about it because it's not a creature, but it has three 1-1 one, one counters on it. Oh, three plus one plus one counter. That is interesting. Yeah. That is interesting. There's a lot of things that turn artifacts into 4-4s, four right? So, like, this could just be a 7-7. Well, not a lot. Seven. I think... Well, there's a couple. There's a couple of blue spells. I remember one. What about the white-blue the white, the white blue one? March of the... Dance of the Mance or whatever. Oh, sure. That makes them 4-4s four if it's, like, 35 or more. If X is 35 or more. Okay. Witch's Oven. One mana. Sacrifice a creature. Create a food token. If the sacrifice creature's toughness was 4 greater, create two food tokens because they're mm, I kind of like it. Because <laughs> they're fatties. I, I don't think it's playable, though, right? Mm-mm. And that's the end. That, that was, was fast. Yeah, that was a lot faster. I think there was a lot more. I think there was a lot more drunk there. But thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate the support. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Let us know what you think in the comments. Let us know if we got anything wrong. Let us know if we got things right. Uh, let us know if you agree with our picks for uh, playable cards in the in the set. And uh, send your deck list too. Send me your deck list because next Tuesday I'm actually playing in the. Uh, the Throne of Eldrain Early Access Streamer Event. Did you see Fling, Apollo, Comet? Yes, yes, we went across it. What were your thoughts about the blue common land and castle? I mean, like, we went over all of those. Oh, no, wait. Zach, Zach uh, came in late. Yeah. And the question that they asked was uh, about how we felt about that island. So we we fully realized that that card can be busted in um, older formats. And I thought all the, I thought all the castles were... Yeah, they were all decent. fairly fairly okay. I don't, um, I don't think you have any reason not to play them if you're playing lands <laughs> the, blue, <laughs> like, the blue one is by far the best though the card can do some pretty busted things you know what i was thinking of when i when i was um seeing that card the first thing is uh the wilderness reclamation deck in legacy or modern um seems very strong in that deck uh because you can use it because you can... I can't think off the top of my head what I was thinking it. before, but I remember thinking of that. I'm, let me, I have to think for a second to remember the scenario I was thinking of. Either way, I'm going to end this video right now. We're still on video? Thank you guys for watching. You can slam those like and subscribe buttons. You can check me out on coolstuffinc.com every Wednesday. Uh, Manatraders.com. There's a great promo code and link in the description that you can use for 20% off the first three months. And uh, you can support me over on YouTube and on Twitch. Thank you guys. And patreon.com slash Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. See you.